this was an search. Okay, what are you stuck on? Lack of confidence. Confidence, totally get it. What else? Nothing else. What's up? SLO. Yeah, okay, what else? Creating a product. Creating, actually creating the product. What else? Publish. Publish. Offer. Irresist. What's up? Logo. Oh, logo. I'm not even putting that on there. <laughs> Recognizing my superpower. Recognizing your superpower. Ah. Next step. Publish. Publish. What else? Boom. Some boom conversion. Scaling. What else? Credibility. Credibility. Like of yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Copy Facebook won't shut down. <laughs> Imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome. I had a massive on that one. Imposter. What else? What's the next step? Next steps? Distraction. Haven't done enough. Any object? Any object? Procrastination. The right. Procrastination. <laughs> 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 With my green cut. Procrastination. Uh, I got all D's in English, math, <laughs> science, foreign language in high school. So I know they're spelling mistakes, all right? <laughs> <laughs> what, what else? Campaigns? Team. Comparing. What else? Avatar. I'm going to call it market. Market selection. Focus in general. Okay. Uh. Absolutely overwhelm. How to get paid from it all. That's why Brad's coming up later. There's a lot of two comic club people who are broke. What to focus on? Got that. Getting paid. What? Professional practice? Practicing. Actual launch, put the campaigns. Cool. Well, my goal is to knock that out. Some of them, a lot of them, I'm, I'm going to try and show you guys that they don't matter. And it's misplaced focus, which is something that I went through like crazy, um, which is why I, I do that, is to walk through. And I'll come back to that page several times, and we'll just start crossing them off as we go here. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I used to do a lot of one-day consulting where people would fly me in. And um, I've actually done it for quite a few corporate clients now, which is a lot of fun. And um, this one time, consulting got really awkward. Um, I was. I was in Dallas, and um, I wasn't supposed to do a day with them, but it's this massive company, um, or I should say each of the, the, the people who run the company were from these massively successful backgrounds, like tens, hundreds of millions of dollar backgrounds, right? And they, they were standing in this room, and they brought me in because they wanted to share with me um, their new pitch video. And they want to share with me their new, um, they want to share with me their new, like, uh, <sighs> marketing message and stuff like that. And they sit me down, they bring me into this room, and I don't know anybody in there, right? And I'm saying, they sit me down in this room, and I'm just like, hey, I'm, I'm, a little, I'm more, way more awkward one-on-one. -on -one. I apologize if we meet in the hallway, and I'm like, hey, 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 like, still overcoming crap on myself, right? So I'm way more comfortable up here than I am one-on-one. -on -one. And so I'm sitting down with them, 
And uh, they're like, watch this video. And they, they kind of like sit me down, you know, and put me in the couch and, and go and they turn on the video and it's awkward and they wanted to see my reactions. So they're all like sitting on the side, not watching the video, watching me, which is really awkward. And what are you supposed to, I don't know anybody. And I'm like, ah, this is good, okay. Worst video I've seen in my life. I mean, it was so, it is the epitome of general advertising, right? It was like, oh my gosh. And I didn't know it, but the CEO is the one that made it who prides himself on his video creation skills. And so at the end, I was like, well, I'm not gonna help these people by lying. So at the end of it, I'm sitting there and they said, what did you think about it? And I was like, uh, there's a lot that needs to change. <laughs> it kind of sucked a little bit. And I had no idea that it was, it was the CEO that was asking me that. It, it was him right there, had no idea. And they had like their CFOs there. And they had big, you know, anyway, I offended the crap out of them. And I didn't know that. I spent the next six hours on their whiteboard teaching them very basic direct response principles and it blew their minds. And it was, it was a lot of fun, but a lot of them truly don't know that side. Okay? To which the marketing noob comfortably said, if you build it, they will come. <laughs> That's what he said. And I laughed out loud. I literally lolled. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, you know, if you build it, they will come. And it was just like the side thing. And he was like, so into, if you build it, they will come. Because he's, you know, we all get passionate about our dreams and I get it and I am too. Like, if you build it, they will come. And I was like, ha, I'm like, that's true. <laughs> it's like, so anyway, I was not welcome back. But <laughs> after I shared that, all this stuff with them, anyway, it's, <laughs> if you build it, they will come. And then Todd's like, oh, for shame, for shame. <laughs> Just delete that guy's ClickFunnels account right now. Just put him out of his misery right now. <laughs> Those are not direct quotes. <laughs> okay, but I just need you to understand one thing, and this is what they thought success is based on. Okay, success, again, is not based on the slogan, the logo, business cards, business plans, VC funding, best customers. We have the best customer service in the valley. That, that drives me nuts. The magic product. Um, your time in business. We've been in business. I always love it when they say, um, um, serving our community since 1977. I always want to say after that, but completely taking advantage of them from 1976. <laughs> you know, like, anyway, what were you doing before that year? Anyway, <laughs> formal education has nothing to do with that. Being prolific. That's definitely what college taught me. You gotta be prolific, this crazy genius, right? A catchy jingle. When you say it, it's got to be incredible. It's not about a mascot, an 800 number, which I've had people say it is. Um, how good you look, a website or a slick video, like that guy thought, a suit or briefcase, which I used to think, a job title, which I totally used to think as well. Being a genius, celebrity endorsement, having the best features has nothing to do with that. No one buys because of the product. And I'm going to share with you what I mean by that and how to take advantage of it moving forward. Okay, there's no relationship between being good and getting paid. It's from Joe Polish. However, there is a huge relationship between being good at marketing and getting paid. Joe Walsh. <laughs> good line, right? I love that line. So I'll, that's why I focus so much on marketing. I also want you to know, because of that statement, there is no such thing as a poor marketer. There's no such thing as it. If Russell and I last night, so we were, we were having dinner with the speakers and we were chatting, and he goes, you know what's funny is like, I don't remember, most of the guys that were doing this game with me 10 years ago, I don't even know where they are anymore. I haven't heard from them. They all disappeared. You don't hear the names. He's like, Stephen, you didn't even know who Mike Phil Same was. He's like, he was a huge deal like five years ago. Even five years. I was like, really? I don't know anything about him. He's like, kidding? Holy smokes. Uh, does that make sense? And a lot of these people, um, I'm not throwing rocks either, but you understand that, and a lot of them are making a lot of great money as well. But um, the ones that who come with these pop shots of cash and then leave out, they forget marketing. That's the part that they leave out on. There's very much a thing though as a very poor business owner who thinks success is based on their product. <laughs> okay.